Uh, hello and welcome to this OET writing class. Um, it's the first class in this writing week and we're going to start off by talking about timeline paragraphs. All right. Uh, if you're not sure what a timeline paragraph is, don't worry, I will explain that. Uh, and then we're going to talk about dates. You can see here sequences and durations. Again, if you're not sure what that is, don't worry, all will be revealed in the class. First thing first, can everyone see my document here? Yes. Give me a yes, if you can see that. Yeah, we're yes. all good. Okay, fantastic. And if I just say Ramona, could you put your microphone on Ramona? Let's yes, you. I'm here. So just walk us through. What, what are we trying to do today? Uh, what is a timeline paragraph? Yep, we're going to answer that question. Good. Yes, the second question is what makes a good timeline paragraph? Mm -hmm. And the third one, it's three key a language techniques from time for timelines excellent right so when i put a question here what i'm saying is guys i'm going to teach you this right so i'm going to teach you uh, what is a timeline paragraph of course many of you know that but we'll just review that okay i think many of you also know this but again we're kind of reviewing uh, the third point of this class that will be most of the class okay all right so let's get started um let me ask tatiana are you there tatiana yeah, I'm here. What is a timeline paragraph? Right, here's, here's, a, here's an essay. Here's a, a letter. A timeline paragraph is the main paragraph in the letter. Oh, I like that. What do you mean by the main one? That's an interesting like, way to define it. Mm -hmm. In the timeline paragraph, we can include uh, everything about, I mean, history, medication, um, um, yeah, you can talk about history and medication, but what? But you can do that in the background paragraph as well, Tatiana, right? Yeah. What are we trying to do, Tatiana, and let me ask uh, Emma as well. What are yeah. we trying to do in a timeline that's different from a background? To present the, the patient, you know, to say about his history till, okay. his, till uh, the present time. We talk about, I guess, his history. His is it like really old history or? No, no, recent. Um, the re recent events, right? Yeah, yeah. that are are relevant. I like that. Um, from the past yes. to the, usually to the present, often. Okay, I'll put a little star there because that's not always true. Now, whereabouts is a timeline paragraph usually? If I ask this to Kim, are you there? In my letter, here's my OET letter. Is this a timeline paragraph? No. What's no. that, Kim? Second one. Well, what's the what's the what's the first? The first one is always the introduction. Introduction. Okay. And the last one, if you see my course, the last one is always the what? Request. Request. Okay. What do we do in the request, Catalina? What what am I trying to do in the request paragraph? Request. Tell the reader. Yeah. Imperative. Of the patient needs. Tell the reader what the patient needs. Maybe I like that, but it would be something like what what to do. What to do for the patient needs. What are we trying to do, Han and Neshka? If we could bring you guys in, what's it the per what's <laughs> what is the introduction paragraph? It's very important this. What am I trying to do? The reason why we are writing and includes purpose. Reason for writing. Right. And yeah, when she says purpose, when Neshka says purpose, she means like and purpose of letter. So Han, give me examples of purposes of letter that you usually see. You um, usually see something like assessment yeah. or Home right care. or um, going care. Blood of care, and care assistance. assistance, that kind of Investigation. thing. Investigation. Right? That's really important in your intro because you're telling the reader, hey, this is what you need to do next. All right. But which one is the I know you could, probably can't see this very well here, but can anyone see which one is the time timeline paragraph the here? The second. It's the, the second one, isn't it? Right. Good. Okay. It's not the it's not the, the other one because that's the background. Okay. And that's what we're focusing okay. on today. Summarize the events in correct order. Like yeah. Correct. Okay. Right. So wait a second. Let me just let me just ask that again, Nashka. So you're saying you're giving me another definition. A shorter one, a smaller one. Say that again. Here we're trying to we summarize try to the events in correct order. Summarize like the story. events in the correct order, right? What's another word for correct order? 
sequence. Anyone? The correct. Oh, important. Sequence. One sequence, right? Sequence. That's a key, key thing in your writing. Thank you. Okay. Sequence. If you look, um, well, when me and Paul did our training for OET, they showed us real letters with real grades and real um, analysis from the examiner. And many, many times the examiner would say something like, um, the timeline is not clear in this paragraph, right? And that was their justification for maybe failing that letter. The timeline is not clear. What they mean is the sequence of events is not clear, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, sequence of events. So in a timeline paragraph, what we're really trying to do is get the sequence of events clear, all right? Now, how do I do that? Let me ask this to Ling. Could you put your microphone on, Ling? Yes, how, how do I make it clear that the sequence of events, the order, the one, the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, what, what can example, I do? When the patient, the fresh, first pregnant, the really recent pregnant to, yeah. to you, then you use date, use sequencing language. Dates, right? Just, I know it seems really obvious, right? But as I was saying before the class starts, dates. Um, are the, a key component of a good timeline paragraph. And you would be surprised how often people make mistake with dates. Okay, so what makes a good timeline paragraph here? Dates, dates. dates. right? Good dates done correctly, okay? So I'm gonna put accurate dates with correct grammar, okay? What else makes a good timeline paragraph? Remember, it's the sequence of events. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let me just ask... Yeah, we're just, I'm just going to nominate someone. So, Alexandra, are you there? Yeah. Think about the language that I need to use. I need to use dates language. Yeah. Um, what else do I need to do to make a good timeline paragraph? The result language. Results. Good. Can you give me an example? As, as a result. Yeah, like as a result. Resulting in. Yeah, exactly. Result. Right, as a result. Good, there's following. loads of them, right? Follow, well, yeah. ah, wait a second. So someone said following. Is following results? No, 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 sequencing. no it's sequencing. This is something that Paul has mentioned before. If I say this, like, um, I had a bath and following that, I watched the football. After, is, that the res is that the after, result? Sequence, no. after. After Just one another. After, sequence one after language. another. Yeah. One thing is not causing, right? So we have words like following or after, right? Okay, we'll talk about that later. What else do we need, Jasmine? To have a good timeline paragraph, I want dates. I want duration. adult language. Yep. Duration. What do, what do you mean by duration? What do we mean? Maybe do during we, is because yeah. Again, quite simple, right? But I call this a duration phrase, okay? And it's something like during, can you give an example, Jasmine? During his recovery. Recovery, right? Comma, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we've got words like following after, we've got words like recovering, we've got words like as a result, we've got things like dates, like on the 29th, right? 29th. Please, how about the subsequently? Where does that fall? Ah, well, we'll talk about that. That's actually sequence language. Okay. Okay. That's nice. I like that. Okay. Is there any more though? There's more. Contrast. Contrast. But Contrast. cannot be always possible to find it. Exactly. Exactly. But, but let's just think about what contrast is. So let me just ask someone else. Um, tell me about contrast. Nancy, what's contrast language? Do you to know contrast. Mm -hmm. yeah, to contrast the ideas, for example, despite that yeah despite or although despite. what else however. however however even though even though you can even say but but is contrasting in right spite of. um so i'm just going to put despite in and although that kind of thing so that makes a good timeline paragraph because it shows how things are different it connects things together as well okay i think those are the main ones that i want to talk about this week okay this week, I'm going to teach you all of this stuff. 
this uh, excuse here. me yes go on uh, can we use here however yeah what type of language is that it's a contrast language it's contrast yeah however okay. but although even though in All spite right. of there's so many yeah but you should try to do it like Neshka says you can't always do it but when you when you see the mm -hmm. possibility you well, must do then it then we can use okay also it helps you to summarize when you use contrast right. okay um what is summarizing maybe we should put that on when we should i'm not going to mention that here but summarizing is also important isn't it all right now um today i'm not i can't teach you all this today of course i'm just going to teach you three things today what am i teaching today who remembers dates Dates. I'm going to do dates. Duration. What else am I teaching today? Duration. Duration. And I'm teaching sequences. 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 Tomorrow, I'm going to teach results. And then on Wednesday, what am I going to teach? Contrast. Contrast. Okay. And it will all, so it's kind of like grammar today, right? But it's all OET, just OET focus. All right. Um, so we're going to start off with dates. Uh, then we'll talk about sequence language. Then we'll talk about duration phrases. Now, let's talk about dates then. So um, let me just ask someone. I need, want to get someone's opinion. Dinashri, are you there, Dinashri? Dates. Yes, sir. I'm here. Do you, do you find dates easy? Do you find that something easy to do when you're, when you're writing your letter? Yes, sir. Actually, we need to find out uh, which is a recent one. Okay. So we can start the letter with that or the... Is it easy to, you know, to, to if I said to you like, right, what would you, would you, would you, how would you say that? How would you write that? It's ninth. Mm, what preposition would you have here? Yes, zero ninth. Ninth oh. October. What do I need here, guys? What word do I need? Anyone? On. 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 Right. on. So what is one of the key problems that everyone makes? Prepositions. The key problem? Prepositions. Prepositions. Yes. Right? Give me an example of a preposition. In, on. In, on. on. So I'm going to put you to prepositions. In, on. At. What else? Eight. At. 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 There's many. What about towards? That's a time preposition. Between. What about between? Yeah. Between. What about to? Right? It's tricky with dates to get your prepositions right. So today I'm going to start off by just teaching you about dates and prepositions and that kind of thing. Okay? But first, what we'll do is I'm going to show you some sentences. And I want you guys to show me the errors. Okay? Okay. So that means I want you to draw on my screen. Does everyone know how to draw on the screen? It's upon, upon path. Upon is also, exactly. And we, we can talk about that one as well, actually. Okay. I'll write that down because I forgot to talk about that. But a lot of people get confused with upon. Can everyone just practice drawing on the screen? I need to make sure that you can all do it. Remember on, we did this recently? Good. Okay. If you're not sure how to do it, it's at the top or the bottom. And you see a pen, it says annotate. There we go. All right. Thanks, guys. So I'm going to show you some errors now, date errors. And I want you just to get your pen and tell me where is the error with your pen. OK, so just draw a little circle when you see it. First one. There we go. Very easy. Well, the first one. Okay, I think we've seen a few. Oh, there's one that you're all missing one of them though. You can see it because Word, the blooming, I couldn't get rid of the <laughs> Microsoft Word. There's one more, can't you see it? <laughs> Is that the correct spelling? Uh, D? That's a real one. This is a real error, D. Someone misspelled the word April, right? How do we uh, spell April? Uh, I took that from one of your essays recently. A P R I A P R I L. And do I do I need E? E. No. 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 Okay. So the first one. 
<laughs> April <laughs> first one is this. That's it. That's an easy mistake to make because I understand it's kind of like the the rules, isn't it, with the vowels? Let me just put this wrong. Okay. Thank you very much, Mike. Uh, not microphones off. Can you stop drawing on the screen? Now the first one in November. It's not in, is it? What is it, guys? On. 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 So that's a classic mistake. So in nineteenth. Sorry. We, on 19th. Number two, Mr. Green was admitted to your to, to our hospital. This, this one Yo. drives me crazy. This drives Yo, me absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that, yeah. everyone? The date. The date. Yeah. It's not allowed to use. October. It's too. It's, it's not, it's not long long. We're not it's allowed it's to write. It's of in, October yeah. or the end of Thanks, May. Val, right? In the body of your letter, you cannot write the date with just numbers. Remember, it's it's a language exam. It's not a maths exam, right? So you need to say fifth. What we're going to say here, guys? O October. 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 All right. October. I would Alan. say that almost every week I have to remind people about that. Alan. Yes. Go on. Uh, you know, uh, if it is already written fifth October two thousand thirteen in our case note, then do we need to still write? Same uh, in that way, or we have to modify. You, have to, you always, if it's in the body of the letter, it always has to be like that. Always, right? Okay. Uh, and there's also, I made a mistake here. This was my one. Mr. Green was admitted to you. To you. Oh. Our. <laughs> now, what, what about C? What's wrong with C? Into the no, you can on say my, on. That's on. Okay. Ooh, can on. 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 Barry, Barry, well, wait a second. Barry, can you put your microphone on? Barry? Come on, Barry, that was good. All right, no, Barry, let me ask Emma. Can you put your microphone on, Emma? Yes. Um, actually, on is correct. We can say on. Yeah. What's the problem here, Emma? No capital. Yeah, thanks, Han. Emma, can you see? Yes. Again, I saw this error yesterday from one of you. OK, so I understand that maybe you're thinking it's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We always put a capital. Emma, in one of my letters, I have been corrected on today's visit. Uh -huh. Replaced with in today's visit. Ah, well, this is Paul's thing. Paul likes in, but you can also have on if you want. I see. Right. You can have them both. All right. So I don't think that's an error. On the 2nd of April, Mrs. Jones, what's wrong here, guys? It's not just April. the spelling. The well, what about these here? You don't have to write yeah. off. Don't off. There is you years don't have missing. To have off. Yeah. yeah. It's some, very don't. strange, but in, it, in English, when we speak, you, you we say on the 2nd of April when we speak, but when we write it, we don't write it in the no. letter. I don't know why. It's very strange. Uh, and the last one, what's the error here? In. In. In March, and what else? There's one more error. Capital. Capital. Right. Capital. So this is, you know, I see a lot of errors like this. These are all real errors. And I want to make you guys a diagram to, so you can all remember some of the rules, okay? One of the big problems we have is prepositions, isn't it, right? So we need to have, what are the prepositions that you always use for dates? Let me just ask this question to Manuela. Are you there? What, what are the three prepositions, Manuela, that we usually use for dates? Yes. We've got on, right? On, yes. What else? In. 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 Good. And what else? At. Between. We can have between, if you want. We can also have at. What else? After. No. Over. Ah, over. Over the last two seconds. That's actually since one that I hadn't four. thought of. Yeah. Well, we're not going to do since and for because since and for, what do we have to, what tense do we use since and for with? Present, 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 present perfect. perfect. And also past perfect. Don't forget. Yeah. Don't forget. That's the perfect tense. But we can say between. We can also say towards. And we can also, I guess we can do over, Neshka. That's yours. That's quite good. I'll put that one in as well. Rose below. Right. Over. Let's start off with the most simple. Let's start off with on. Okay. I'm just put this in. On. What do we use? What's the rule for that? Let me just ask Barry if he's back or Catalina or Gizem. Gizem? Um, yeah, I'm here. So if I say, do I say on 2019? 
no, in 2019. Okay, so I can have dates in 2019. I can have the the year, right? Yeah. What else can I have? Days of the week. The, the day. it, go on. The date, of the, day. the date of the week. So I'm going to say the full date. Mm -hmm. Like like uh, 19th November, right? Uh, 2019. I can also have the. Oops. I can also have the day. Can I say on Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah. Day. What else can I say on for? I think it's those three, right? Yeah. So you can have a year or the day or the full date, right? Let's just have an example of this. Year. Gizem, one more time. I'm going to say, oh, not the year, sorry. I'm going crazy here. Do we have the year? No. That's no. in, sorry. No. So just the day. So Gizem, give me a, a sentence with using on with the day. Um, Monday. He, he, he will be discharged on Monday. Yeah, there we go. He will be discharged on Monday. Okay, good. Now, full date. Again, this is very, very easy. So let me just ask one of you here, maybe Val, give me a sentence, an example sentence with the full date. Um, Using on. He will be discharging on. Let's start with on. Let's start with on. On. On 19 of, 19 of November, 2019. Now, is that correct, or have I made a, an error? We don't need oh, off. Off. Take no, off. Good. All right. Yeah. And here's, here's a little tip. Some people, not everyone, but some people like to put a comma here. Is it okay? Yeah. It's actually yeah. okay. If you want, it's okay. Optional. Right? But it's okay. optional. You don't have to. All right. So that's he on. He will be discharged. Mm -hmm. He will be discharged. Yeah, he will. He will be um, He will. He will be blah blah blah. I'll just put he dot dot dot. Okay. What about in? Microphones off, please. Let me ask Victoria. Victoria, in. Do I do that for full day? What am I doing that for? For year. Say that again. For year, so year, in two thousand five. Yeah, yeah. In so it would be the year. Oh, that's what I was getting wrong. What about? Is there any more? Months. The months, month. yeah. In months. January. And anything else? And the special Season. times of the day. Ah, time of day is not here, Neshka. Season. When, when do... When, ah, the season. Afternoon. Season, season the right? In afternoon. Um, in, in the hour. Ah, okay, yeah, ah, I see. Okay, so afternoon. That's okay. I thought you meant like nine o'clock or something no, like no. that. Okay. In okay, so Neshka, Neshka, for, for, for um, times, specific times, what would I say? Like, say, 9 o'clock. I would say at, right? Yeah. Yes. At 9 a.m. What about, um, at, there's another thing we night, can use at for. At night. At night. I'd say night, yeah, at midnight. night. Midnight. Good. At Anything the, else? At midnight? At, at the moment. At the moment. At hospital. Now, thank you. Who said that? At the moment. At right. Me. Now that's at a little hospital? bit that's a little bit informal. It's a little bit formal at the oh, moment, okay. but you but you can say at that time, and it's very very useful. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So you might say he was his mobility was very poor at hospital. Nah, at at that time. time. Okay. We're just talking about dates. Yeah, you can say at hospital. That's not a date. Okay. There's actually one more that we can have for on. Okay. And it is today right if you want you can say on today's visit today's visit or you can say as Nashka said you could also say in today's visit as well if you want right you can have both okay yeah question someone's got a question oops uh yes can we Take use a uh, uh, in uh, for uh, can we use in for the centuries yeah i guess it would be century like in the 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 in the 90s is that what you mean? Yeah, that would be like a bit like the year. Yeah. Like in, in 19th in centuries, in 20th centuries. Yeah, you could. Yeah. But you wouldn't need that for OET, but you can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, the year, obviously, we, for a year, we might say, microphones off, you might say, in 2016, Mr. Green, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, for the month, let's, can someone give me an example of month? Maybe Mittal. Could you put your microphone on, Mittal? Yes, sir. I could say, in for the month, in. 
Ah, do I say month of November? Sorry, it's in month now. Nah. In November. We just in say November. in November, right? And again, that's really good because I've seen that error many times. So yeah, just in November. What about today's visit? We can say in today's yes. visit, right? So, um, we what cannot, about, so we cannot use in month of November, only in November. Yeah, we can't use it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'll put that in red just to remind you all. What about afternoon, Neshka? Give us an example of afternoon. Um, I will go for shopping in the afternoon. So how about he will have his surgery in... What's missing exactly. here, guys? The, 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 it's the, the. the. We always say the afternoon. I don't know why. It's a bit crazy because it doesn't really make sense. Okay. But it's always in the afternoon. Always. All right. You could also say, um, I think that's it actually. Can uh, we say he will have his surgery in this afternoon? No. You can't, this you, you, part? No. No, you can't say in this afternoon. Yeah. Okay. That's a this great question. Yeah. You could say this afternoon and that's it. Okay. So no in here. Good. Okay. What about at, right? You might say, what would we say for OET? You might say, uh, Mr. Jones, anyone want to give me a sentence? Mr. Jones. Admit to the hospital at nine o'clock. Was admitted to the hospital. I don't know why you would say this to be honest, but maybe at nine o'clock. Imagine it was very late. Morning. You could say 3 a.m. You might say that, right? The arrangement of this patient of Mr. Smith will be- uh, Yeah, will appointment. Be Please note uh, that. Tomorrow at He has an appointment. Yeah, there we go. Tomorrow at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Now, uh, let me just ask for Barry. He hasn't really answered yet, but Ling, could you come on the microphone, Ling? I've got my camera off. Ling? Yeah, hello. What about night and midnight? What, what, what might you say for that? You might say... At midnight. Um, please know that he had an appointment. He has an appointment at midnight. Or you could say, how about he he fell over at midnight? Midnight at, at midnight. Exactly at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> they know that his um, IV drip need to discon. He has to his IV drip start fasting. need to be. He has stopped. to start fasting yep. at midnight. Yeah, oh, he has to start oh. fasting at midnight. That's that's even better. Know that he oh, must so he he had an heart attack. Fasting at midnight. Yeah. What about um, so night and midnight? They're the same, right? You could say at night at midnight. What about mm -hmm. at that time? Now, this is my one. I want all you guys to learn this. Does anyone know kind of an OET sentence where we could say at that time? Put your microphone on, or you could type in the chat box if you want. At that time. At that time. Mr. Green experienced pain in... Yeah, yeah. No. At that time, Mr. Green experienced pain, okay? What time is it? We, no. we previously mentioned this time. It's the Mr. time that you spoke about in the, in the sentences before, yeah. right? For so it's example, very, very useful. Mr. Green, Mr. Yeah? Green was admitted to our hospital on this time, I mean, this date. At that time, he was experiencing or he, he has experienced. Exactly. Mm. So this is one of my favorite phrases. So write it down, guys. <clears throat> now, imagine, imagine you wanted to talk about two or three months, right? So, Anil, are you there? Imagine I yes. want to talk about, say, July to um, December. Mm -hmm. I can use between, right? What can yes. I say? So this is for months, I suppose. Okay. Usually for months in OET. <clears throat> What would you say between uh, uh, Mr. Uh, we can say Mr. White visited to our hospital between uh, uh, July to December. Okay. Visited to? Visited mm -hmm. to our clinic. Uh, to? Visited our. To? Uh, Sorry. Visited our clinic. Just Good. visited. Yes. Our Just clinic. visited our clinic between uh, July to December. Uh, it's not yeah. two. Does anyone know what comes next? And. and. And right, okay. between July and December, right? So let me just put that here. It's between and. There's another way to do this as well. Does anyone know? From, you can say from, from November to December. To. Until December. 
Uh, you can also say until if you want. Yeah. yeah. So give me an example. From? Neshka, from, no, from November, November to? 2018 mm -hmm. until uh, October, October uh, 2015. His condition. Yeah, there we go. And we blah, can say blah, anything blah. here. Blah, blah, blah. Exactly. Now you can say to or you can say until. She's right. Until. Right. So that's a very, very useful one. Now here's the last one I'm going to teach you today. What if you want to say, imagine you've got a lot of information. You're trying to summarize a lot of information. And you just want to say it happened kind of like um, the end, the end of the year. Towards the end. Towards. We can say towards. What does that mean exactly then? If I, what if I say towards the end of 2019? What does that mean? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on from this. The last three months. Towards the end of 2019. Last three months. Well, I think geez. you're right. Yeah. Last three months. First three months. Or you can say the middle three months. Right? Let me show you. You could say... Uh, imagine you want to do the, the the last three months. You might say towards the end of. Give me a date, someone, guys. Towards the end of. When the were you month. born? <laughs> towards the end of May. Towards the end of 2019, right? So, what months is that, Mr. Jones? Um, November. Three times. The end of. It's October. November, November, and November, and October. October. It's the last three months. Okay, what about if it was January, February, March? What could we say, Cat? Words. It was the beginning Words. of the beginning. Oh, actually, no, you can't do it for the beginning. You'd have, you'd have to say at. At the beginning. Uh, right. Let's not do the first three months then, sorry. What about the middle? Towards the middle of. Middle. Give me the, give me the year. 2020. 2020. Mr. Green had a heart attack. Okay. Oops. About approaching. Approaching. Yeah, you can also say approaching. Yeah, approaching is also okay. And you can also say over. But I'm running out of time now, so I'm just going to give you one these these ones. Okay. So on, in, at. Let's do a quick test. Okay. Are you all ready for a very quick test? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you right. use the method? Or the questions? Yeah, go on. Can you use Can... the method? For example, like um, in the middle semester of uh, 2000. Uh, in the middle semester. I think or no, maybe that, the second semester. That's more like an academic thing. We talk about semesters for um, when you're in school or university. No, no, no. But you well, know, exams, I think. A year exam. they divide it in four semester. Every semester is three months. Yep. Yeah. You to me, them? all I'm saying, to me, that, that sounds like you're talking to me like I'm a student somewhere, oh, right? Okay. No, you it, can use it even in emergency. Can you okay. use it in a, in, in a hospital context? All right, we'll research that. I could be wrong, but I've never heard that, okay? Now, a student who is visiting it. quick oh. test. Let me ask one yes. of you here. Um, let me ask Jasmine. Oh. What do I say for that? On... Um, on eleven. No, that's the day. Oh, Can you help her out, guy? On, on eight, 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 eight November. November two thousand nineteen. Mr. Green, blah blah blah. All right, easy. All right, thank you. Let me ask someone else here. Let me ask um, Kim, Kim or Jamie. Yeah. What am I going to use for this one? In in in, in twenty fifteen. Mr. Green, blah, blah, blah. Good. All right, Tuesday, Han, dead easy. Han on or Tuesday. Patricia? On, on Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. We can all shout this out, actually. This is so easy. You can just shout it out. Go on. So, uh, March? In, in March. March. In March. March. In March. Okay, so in March, Mr. Green, blah, blah, blah. Okay. What about the next one? 9.30 p.m. At 9.30 p.m. It's at, isn't it? Yes. So at 9.30, what happened? Mr. Green has an appointment or something. 
What about this one? Between. From March. Between or from is good as well. Between March. And May. And May. From March to May. 2006. You can also say from March. To May. Until. March. Until if you want as well. May 2016, right? Blah, blah, blah. There we go. What about the end of year 2015? What am I going to say there? Towards the end of 2015. Towards the end of 2015. Towards the end of 2015. Okay, middle. Just the middle. Towards the middle. Towards the middle of. Towards the middle of. The middle of. I'm going to get relaxed. I'm running out of time. What about this last one? On today. 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 On it's fairly simple. You just have to kind of remember the prepositions more or less. Okay. okay. Now, that's the first thing. I've taken ages on the first thing. I've got two more things. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to show you something again. And I want you to tell me. Um, I'm going to show you two paragraphs. Okay. We're going to talk now about sequence language and duration phrases. What's the sequence language again? What is that? Give me an example. After following that. After following that. Yeah. Duration After phrases. This. What's that? During, During hospitalization. During hospitalization. Okay. Now, I think this is a very, very easy question, but I'm going to show you two paragraphs, and I want you to tell me which one you prefer. I think okay. we'll all agree. Okay. Which is the best one? There's, a, there's probably... A few things we can talk about here, actually. It's pretty easy because you can see old and new, can't you? So, Jimmy, are you there? I want to put your microphone on. The new one. The new one is the better, one? but why? There's, there's probably two reasons why. What does the new one have? It has... Sequencing it's to summarize, it's more. And it also has? During duration. Right? So th it has some Sequence nice language. It's very simple. It's just one. Is this duration phrase or sequence? Sequence. sequence. Right. So it has some sequence language here. OK. And it also has a duration phrase. What's wrong with the old one? There's also a bit of confusion in the old one as well. Can anyone see? That is uh, not a good concise. It's too I much. Think. Yes. Also, also, in regards to her social background, what's wrong with that? It's a mixed paragraph, isn't it? So we actually have background together. Background in with the timeline, right? So the background is always is usually separate. So why, why, why this? The organization's not really. But but think about it. Yeah, this is um. She's now passed. It's one of our students. She's passed now. Okay. And she, she, she wrote, this is the same person, right? So she wrote that. And then I had a class with her and I said, look, you know, you need to use some more sequencing language because this is all confusing for me. I don't know what's happening. I don't know when it's happening. Right. Right. And she just, she just simplified it a bit and she's just used a few phrases. Can you see how much better that is? Yeah. Right. Obviously, she's, yeah. also, she's also confused about the paragraphing, but that's what I want to see from you guys. I want to see you guys using duration phrases and sequence language. Now, what do you think about these types of phrases, following or during? Do you find them easy, Patricia, or difficult? If so, tell me why. Um, Patricia? Is, oh, sorry, is it is it more difficult than dates or less difficult than dates? Be, be honest. Uh, I think it's less difficult. Le even less difficult because dates, is, I think, is fairly easy. I think in a way you're right, right? It's not that hard to kind of like do it and do it well, okay? But there are some challenges. What about the word following and after? 
Patricia, are they the same? Yeah. Um, no. They're no, sometimes same, they're right? similar, but it's not the same. There's actually slightly exactly. different grammar. Okay, so um, I'm going to put following here, guys, on our diagram. Following. This one's after. Can after, you see? Yeah. We're talking about sentences like this. Following her surgery. Now, Patricia, mm -hmm. her surgery. What is that here? Following her surgery. Uh, her operation. Can I say uh, this? Right. How about, what, what if I said this, Patricia? Yeah, exactly. What if I said, following, she went to the surgery. She went to the hospital. Can I do that? Following? No. The answer is no, following right? So what? the grammar, yeah. right? The grammar is following plus what? Yeah. Uh, following. Following. Plus, right. uh, Following as that. Nan is as as Han, Han no. is saying. Sorry, I said Nan. Then sorry, sorry. Han. <laughs> um, that means <laughs> means you're you're my mum. So um, following noun phrase, right? Please. You can't have subject and verb. Does that make sense to everyone? Look at this. Let me just test this. So <clears throat> Barry Gizem, if I said this, following she is upset. Is that correct? No. 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 Why? Because we see a price, not now price. Because we've got subject, we've got subject and only on, on subject. Yeah, and so preposition. The, so we're not allowed to have subjects and verbs. What about after though? Who can tell me about the word after? Can I can I have a subject and a verb? Yes. Yeah. No. Neshka? Oh, yeah. no. Sorry. After I'm she busy. went to the shops, after she had her surgery, is that okay? It's okay. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the difference is, right, with this one, it must be a noun phrase, but this one is after plus subject verb. plus verb, right? Can I just have an, a noun if I want? Yeah, right. I can yes. have both. I can have a noun phrase or I can have subject plus verb. Very, very important here. Notice that. Give me an example of following. Let me just ask one of you to give me an example of the word following. Anil, sir? Yes. If I want to use following, I could say following, give me a noun phrase. Uh, following, uh, following her accident. Her accident. Yeah. All right. Following her accident. Oops. Following his. Do I need a comma here, everyone? No. No. No oh. comma, right? And it's here. Yes. And then we're going to say she, blah, 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 blah. Okay? Yes. Give me an example here for after. Let me ask Tatiana if you're there or Barry. Keep asking you, Barry. Um, after, subject plus verb. Can you give me an example? After an accident? No. After an accident? You could say after her accident. Please, accident. After, after the death her of accident. His wife. In this case, is that, a, what's that, guys? Is that a noun phrase or subject and verb? Uh, no. no, noun phrase. It's kind of like a noun phrase or a noun, right? So that's okay. What about if I want subject and verb, though? I can say after she, subject, right? After she, she, was, did. Admitted. she, she was, was admitted, admitted to our hospital. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So which one is easier to use, following or after? Which one's easier? Oh. <laughs> it's after Both because it's easier. You, well, <laughs> this one you, have, you can do what you want. Here, right? Yes, you can have a yes. But this one you must be a noun phrase always. Okay. Yes. Is there any more sequencing language? There's one more. Ellen, can you say following his visit, his current visit or something? Yeah, but that's a noun phrase. His visit, right? Okay. That's a noun. But you, you cannot say Ellen. following he visited, right? Oh, okay. Now it's wrong because that's Ellen. subject and verb. Yes. After is a preposition, so I think maybe after we can use children as well. Um, yeah, there's, you have all this freedom, noun phrases mm -hmm. and ing. Yeah, good. And also, when I say noun phrase here, um, you could also have it here. Following being admitted to hospital. You could actually oh, say yeah. that. Following yeah. being admitted to hospital. All right. What's the mm -hmm. other sequencing language that I'm missing That's here, though, guys? Friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Now, let me just ask, I think this is a good question that I thought of before. Leisha, are you there? Leisha? No, Leisha? Yes. Leisha, what's the difference between yes. con consequently and subsequently? What's the difference? Anyone? Leisha? 
Yeah. One second, one second is like the what is following after um, the no, thing that like happened. Like and it's, and like it's, like like after. After. it's language and this is results. Right? Thank you, right? Okay. So we'll we'll look at that tomorrow. Consequently, is results language. Okay? Consequently, this, is following something this is or just late what it has, after something. Exactly, it just has the meaning. Like you could say, I had a bath. And Afterwards. subsequently, I watch TV. Right? Afterwards, you could also say, but that's a little bit informal. Okay. But what's the form of subsequently? Let me ask this question to uh, Ling or Anil again. What form is it? It's a linker, isn't it? Yeah. Linker. It's a uh, subject verb. Comma. Yeah. Plus subject. Uh -huh. and well. verb. Okay. Give me an example, Manuela, right? Subsequently, she... She had um, angioplasty. An angioplasty, right? Subsequently, now, um, comma. What do, yes. what do I need here? Comma. Yeah. Comma. Always with a comma. Because why do I need a comma? It's a linker. Because it's a linker. linker. Okay. So subsequently, she had an angioplasty, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Now, let's, let, I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to let you guys think about this for one minute. In fact, no, we'll, we'll just do this now. We can, we can actually make sentences, can't we? Okay. So, no, I'll give you one minute thinking time. One minute to prepare. I will ask random people <laughs> to make me a sentence using the words below. Okay. So just have a look and think about how would I make a sentence using surgery, recovered well, and sequencing language. Okay, just one minute. And then I will ask, it could be you, it could be anyone, all right? Just prepare, think about how we really use this stuff. Following, following his surgery, she's recovered well. Ah. Oh, microphone's off. That's Oops, okay. sorry. It's okay. Be ready, because I'm looking at my list now of people that I've not asked any questions to, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose you probably. All right, 20 more seconds. Just, just prepare yourself. Try to get ready, because I don't want any gra grammar errors, please. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Stop there. Dinashri, I'm choosing you, Dinashri. Yes, sir. Surgery recovered well. Sequencing. What can you say? Following her surgery, she recovered well. What about if I say this? Following, she had surgery. Is that right? No. no. I'm say following. No. Her. Because only noun phrase, right? Mm -hmm. So, Dinashri, what you said was correct. Following her surgery. Can you say it one more time? She recovered well. well. Okay. Now I'm going to ask another one of you. Can I ask uh, for Ramona? Are you there, Ramona? Um, Can you give me one with after? After physiotherapy, her mobility Im improved. Her mobility improved. Good. Now, if I wanted to say um, after she had, is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because why? Because we can another And um, do I have a physiotherapy or no a? No, no a. Without a. Without always all therapies. Uncountable. No a. And all surgery. So no a. Physiotherapy okay. session. Good. Treatment. Let me ask Kulsum. You didn't think I'd ask you, did you, Kulsum? No, no. You yet. ready? <laughs> yeah. Treatment behavior improved. What can we say? Subsequently, well, no, how about following? Following? Following. Following her treatment? Yeah. Subsequently. Ah, uh, no, we just, you don't, you can't use two. You can just use okay. one. So following, following her treatment, mm, her behavior was improved. Do we say improved or was improved? Was improved. improved. There's improved. no it's, it's active voice. Okay. Yeah.
but I understand why you think it's passive. It's one of those strange ones, okay? Yeah. You just have to remember. Okay, his health declined. Now, I've only got one idea here. So, Anil, what would you say when you've only got the one? Hello. Anil? Hello. Yes, I'm here. His health declined? Uh, subsequently. Easy, right? Subsequently, his Subsequently, health. his health declined. Now, what about if I said, what, what's going to be in the, what's in this sentence? He visited our clinic, right? Uh -huh. When did he visit our clinic, Anil? On, On 19th November. 19th November. So when did his health decline? Guys, when did the health of this patient decline? After 19th uh, November. After. Yeah, like okay. so maybe maybe the 20th. Yeah, maybe yes. 21st, 22nd, something like that. Good man. Okay, losing weight, mood improved. Who wants, you can all shout out if you want to tell me this one. Following losing weight. Following losing weight. Now you can actually say, can I say ING plus ING? Yeah. Yes, yeah. because it's yeah. showing. Uh, but it sounds, it sounds nicer. It just sounds yeah, nicer if you say after. Way. Yeah, right. So two INGs together don't sound very nice, but it's okay. Okay, I can say his mood improved. What about this one here? Second visit. Symptoms worse. After Anyone? After her second visit. After his Which second thought, visit? After his second visit. He reported. He reported. Ah, this one's tricky. So cat, cat, what are you he going to say here? He reported. Cat. He reported. Reported what? Symptoms, his sim symptoms getting worse. Getting worse? At, what worse. do I need here? Person. Got worse. I need no. that. At his symptoms got worse. Had, now, got, got is a little bit informal. Oh. Had worsened? Has got. You could uh, say had worsened. Had worsened. Mm. Or had become worse, if you want. Mm. Okay. That's quite a hard phrase always when it comes to worse. Okay. Now, duration phrases, they're fairly easy. Again, we're doing quite a lot today, but it's all fairly easy. What's a duration phrase, Jasmine? Just remind me, please. Duration phrase is a... During? So I could say during his... While? Surgery, right? Okay, that's an example of a duration phrase. You could say while, yeah. While, I didn't think of that one, that's good. What about if I want to include a, um, a date? Is that during, okay? During his subsequent visit on yeah. blah, blah, blah. Guys, I really think it's a good idea to combine duration and dates. Oh, and we also have subsequent as well. Ooh, mm -hmm. com combine. Uh, his subsequent visit, is this right, guys? On. Is that the right preposition, everyone? On. No. No. It on. should be on. Okay. So during his subsequent on 19th November, what do I need here, everyone, at the end? Comma. Comma. Just comma, right? So what's the form here? The form is just a linker plus mm -hmm. comma plus subject plus verb. Okay. I'll get rid of the examples because we don't need them. It's the same for all of them. What can anyone else think of another way though to do a duration phrase? Do you have any other ideas? For duration? Someone said while. I could have while. Is it duration over the past four months? Yes, that's what I had written down. That's what I was thinking of, right? So over, or the you could even say over the past uh, three months. Three you could do that. Anything else, you guys? Can you think of a duration phrase? While during while, he good. had his surgery. While he had his surgery is good, but it doesn't sound quite um, formal enough for me. It's okay, during, though. Can we say during in March? You can't say during in March. No, that's not correct. How about this, guys? Throughout. Throughout his... What can I put? Treatment. What, what, yeah, good, right? So here's... Throughout here's, his treatment, yes. Here's four duration phrases, guys. Okay, the form is always the same. The form is always linker plus comma. It's, these, these are linkers. Linker. What is a linker though? Han, Mithal, what is a linker? 
the connection, the connector. The connection. The connection. And gives an idea about the following sentence. The linker is that. What's the most famous linker that you learn when you when you begin to learn English? Beginning as with well as. as yeah. That's not the most famous one. Um, First, yeah, right. First. Second, that's a link. But, okay. Now, what about this hospitalization week. surgery? Good. Who can use a duration phrase here? Let me ask Jasmine. Jasmine or Alma? During his hospitalization. Mr. Green. During Mr. his Green. hospitalization. Yeah, Green. Mr. Green, Green, blah, blah, blah. Green. Good. Gizem, are you there, Gizem? Uh, yes. Fourth visit, what can we say? Um, during can his I, fourth visit. During his fourth visit. Um, Mr. Smith um, has collapsed. Uh, you could just say collapsed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I say throughout his fourth visit, guys? Can no. I say throughout? Yeah. No, right. Oh. No. This is this one is more for like um, physio and treatment, that kind of thing. Physio, treatment, um, maybe chemo, right? That's where we would use that. And um, what about this one? Visit 24th 02 2018. <laughs> Um, can I just have um, Patricia for this one? Or Meryl, if you want to try. Yeah, Patricia. Mm -hmm. Over the, oh, oh, the third one, is it? Third one, um, yeah. During? Um, during his visit on uh, the, on the 24th, 24th February 2018. February 2018. Okay. Do I need to put of here, guys? No. no. Right, not no. in the written. No. Good. No. Uh, and as if you want, like Neshka says, you could even put in subsequent. Right. I like that. During his. Subsequent visit. Nice. It sounds very formal. Right. So I'm adding that in. Oops. So it means he has more than one visit. Um, it's to be honest, it's just not necessary to put it in. It's already clear, but it just sounds no. good. No, I mean, <laughs> it means like. Um, you're doing a subsequent visit. Yeah, it's like the one after. Okay, mm. number four, Neshka, recovery, frustrated lack of progress. Mm. During his recovery. You could say that, during his recovery. Yeah. He became frustrated. He became frustrated, okay. What about if I wanted to say throughout? Can I say throughout here? Yes, you can. Mm. Yeah. Throughout his recovery. Yes. What would I say yeah. next? Period. Do I say became or he? Here yeah. I would say he yeah. was. It seems he, was. Was. he became frustrated. He seems to want... me frustrated. Uh, frustrated. Throughout. Throughout means that inside that time, all of the time, I would say, don't yes. use became. He, he seems to me frustrated. frustrated. Throughout his recovery, he seemed to be. You could say seemed to seemed. be frustrated. Yeah, there you go. Or he was frustrated, yeah. But we don't okay. want to use become with throughout. Okay? Right. Okay, frustrated. Can't spell that. Okay. Journey to hospital. Uh, Anyone? Journey to hospital, last one. Okay. Who wants to try? Okay. Throughout his journey to the hospital? Journey throughout his journey to hospital. Um, it's not so good for journeys. Just stick with physio. Treatment. During his journey to hospital. During his journey. During his journey. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Janashri, yeah. can you give it? Just Janashri during his during his uh, journey to hospital. Journey to hospital. He he, he has a panic attack. He had a panic attack. Yeah, good. Journey at hospital. Okay. Good. Now, Hello. thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Sure. On the third day of his hospitalization, is it duration or? Uh, subsequent language um, on the third day of his I think that would be it's not really duration yeah um, I think that would be like a date like a day all right I think that would be a date but to be honest it doesn't really matter because the only thing that matters is if it's correct or not and if you can understand how to use it mm -hmm. you know what I mean these this language here guys this is just <laughs> my these are my my words okay mm -hmm. 
So today I've tried to talk about dates. I've tried to talk about Hello. sequencing language. Yes, question if you've you got one. Say, I know you said you found it, but I'm just wondering whether you could say throughout his hospital stay, Mr. Smith experienced worsening symptoms. Yeah, you could say that hospital stay. I like that. That sounds really nice. Throughout his hospital stay. Mr. I like Smith, that. Yeah. That sounds he really natural. Uh, um, there have yep. been rare occurrences of his health throughout his treatment. Throughout his treatment is good. So treatment, physio, chemotherapy, any kind of therapy is probably good, right? With throughout. Uh, Alan, and I want to yeah. ask this issue was starting with five days after his visit. Do I have to write five in number or in US? And, and that's a good question. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I, I tend to just say, use the, the words, okay? Okay. Dinashri, do you have a question? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, go um, on. During and subsequent, both we can use together? Yeah, it's a bit strange, but yeah, it sounds very good. Yeah. Okay, thank you. But it's optional here. Okay, microphone's off. Now, we're going to, I know I've run over a lot, but that's okay because there's no speaking club today. This is the last test. So, microphone's off, please. Microphone's off. Thank you. I'm going to show you a paragraph and I want you all to shout out what's missing. Okay, I'll show you one paragraph. You tell me what, what do I need? Sequence? Do I need dates? Do I need duration? Okay, here it is. It's Mr. Jones, not Mr. Dunbar. <laughs> it's Mr. Jones, or Mrs. Jones even. Mrs. Jones, all right. What do I need here, guys? In. 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 Good. So in 2016, Mr. Jones was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes for which dietary management was recommended by his, by his GP. Something after, that... After. After. Yeah. Following. Uh, after. Can I have following, after. following if I want? Is it okay? Is yeah. it, can I have after. following? What do you all think? Yeah. I can yes. have both, right? Yeah. Okay. What about if I say uh, her husband died? After. After. I can't After. have following now. Why not? Mm. Because it's not noun phrase. It's not. It's yeah, fast. because there's a verb, isn't there? Look, there's a verb. All right, good. Oh. Good. So let's go back. So following her husband's death, she became non compliant with the diet and she was referred back to his GP. What goes here? After death. During. At that, during, during, during. At that during. visit, well, with something that visit she with, was prescribed at with. With at at I think. At, right. but when is she prescribed? Oh, it's during. happening at the same time as the visit. Oh, during. At that visit. During. 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 during that, right? Okay. During, during that, that visit, oh. and then we can say. On August 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 yeah, it could go in here if you want. I, I don't know if it makes sense here, actually. Okay. Additionally, something five. Now, who can guess this one? Because we didn't talk very much about this. Additionally. At that time. At that time. Yeah, good. At that. That time. That time. Right. So what, what does it mean at that time here? When? During, During that, that time. time. It's 2018. This one. Yeah, right. Is it on August 2018? Is that right? In. In, in August. In Sorry, August. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah, in. Okay, and number six. What do I need? Number six. On. 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 Six, two thousand eighteen. It's. It's only. There's only two. Yeah, that's January, in February, March. On. Wait, that's June. Yeah. In. In, in, in June. 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 Two thousand eighteen. Good. She was admitted to hospital due to a myocardial infarction, in resulting in the prescription of Rampil and. Substance. Subsequently. 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 Additionally. So how do I spell subsequently? Let me ask Tatiana and Emma. How do I spell subsequently? It's not that easy. Sub. Not I. S U E Q U E N E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L E L
In October, October 2018. What if I? What if we said it was um, my birthday, which is 28? What would I say then? On 28th October. 28th October. Okay, and let's just say that we uh, we know the exact time. At at at. At, at 9.30. 9 30. At 9.30. 9 Good. 9 okay. All right. So, guys, I'm going to finish the class, but it's really, really important when you're building one of the – this is the first thing of the timeline is – what do we call these again? After following that, say – Sequence. 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 What do we call this? Duration phrase. Duration And these are, of course, dates. Don't forget your dates. dates. Don't forget, if you don't remember anything from this class, can I do this? Is this okay? Uh, is that okay? Wait, that no, was wait, a wonderful is, class. Oh, thank you, Isabel. Is this a last, last question? Is this okay? No. 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 Never. No. And you know who told me that? Because it's not much class here. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you. you know who told me that? <laughs> Re Rebecca, Rebecca Bush. She told me that personally. <laughs> she said, <laughs> Alan, tell your students not to put dates like that. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, guys. Tomorrow we're thank going to be doing Alan. results language. You're welcome.